everybody hear me okay? <laughs> very funny right now. So first off, on behalf of the Portland Hotel Society, the Portland SD, and the Portland Phoenix, and the Vancouver Street Soccer League newly minted, we want to welcome you all to this brand new field. Oh. Yes, the boys just told me to be quiet because there's a baby sleeping, but I think he'll understand that we have to do this welcome. Um, it's a gorgeous day. We couldn't have asked for better. We're not going to do a lot of talking, but just a few housekeeping things. Just try to keep the field clean. This is the first event that's ever happened on this field. It's a beautiful way to christen the field. I can't think of a better way. So let's try to keep it clean if we can. At the end of the tournament, take all the food. Just take it anywhere you want to take it, all the food and all the drinks. Bathrooms are in the far corner back there. And I'm just going to pass it over to Park Commissioner Sarah Bly. I'll just welcome you all here today, and uh, I'm going to pass this over to the Mayor, Gregor Robertson. Hey, Sarah. You guys ready to play footy? Yeah. <laughs> hey, there's ringers down there. Look up for those guys, Team Canada. So what a, what a beautiful day to be blessed with here at this brand new pitch. We are uh, so, it is, as as Kayla said, we are so lucky to be playing our first ever game here at Memorial Park to, uh, to open up this new field to the people of Vancouver and the first ever Street Soccer Canada tournament. So thanks to Alan and all the Street Soccer folks. Kayla and everybody, part of Street Soccer. Great to be kicking it off here. And I know there's going to be some intense action as the uh, as Street Soccer kicks off. So thanks uh, to Park Board. Park Board has worked super hard. Malcolm Bromley, who runs the Park Board for the City of Vancouver, is here. Thank you, Malcolm and Sarah and all the Park Board commissioners. Everybody really stepped up to make sure this park would be ready for today, because today is the day. And we want to be ready for this tournament. And now this field will be used by people, tons of people in Vancouver for decades to come. So a great addition to our city's soccer field complement. No smoking. Yeah, no smoking. It's a flammable field, <laughs> especially with hot soccer players on it. So have a good time. Enjoy the day. May the best team win. Take care. And here's Alan. Thanks. So I want to say thanks again to uh, to Mayor Robertson and the City of Vancouver for, for coming out and uh, playing the street soccer teams at um, the first Vancouver Street Soccer League uh, tournament. And uh, also to the you know the, everybody in Vancouver for supporting us uh, so much and um, uh, helping us recently with things like the Homeless World Cup. Uh, so just in case not everybody is familiar with the Vancouver Street Soccer League, we've got uh, four great teams so far. Uh, there's going to be uh, also a volunteers team and of course the City of Vancouver team here as well. Um, but uh, just for the teams that make up the league, uh, there's the East Side Sun Eagles out of uh, Open Highway Park. They were the uh, the recent champions of the Team Canada Selection Tournament at Oppenheimer Park. Yeah. Uh, we also have the North Shore Shields in the blue Woo! for North Van. Woo! They're the, the reigning champions of their own uh, North Van tournament. And uh, we have Portland FC. Portland yeah. They were the uh, the recent champions of the uh, Homelessness Action Week hosted in North Van. And last but not least, the Aboriginal Friendship Center, who uh, are the reigning champions of the Going for Gold uh, tournament, hosted by uh, So it's a serious, serious uh, competition. And the newest team of uh, the Vancouver uh, Street Soccer League scene is the Portland FC Phoenix, which is our women's team. So they're going to be... Uh, we're going to be uh, adding to the ranks of Portland FC today. So, um, also, in addition to our local street soccer team, uh, we are now feel connected to the Homeless World Cup, having, uh, having represented there, and uh, to Street Soccer Canada. And so Paul Gregory, the head of Street Soccer Canada, sends uh, his best wishes for this tournament. And he's actually given us a whole bunch of these tubes, like the one that I'm wearing. So if you're a local street soccer player, uh, you should go see Lurdish, who's got a whole bunch of uh, these black tubes, and uh, there's one for everybody, I hope, unless we run out of them. <laughs> um, so, just with the, all of your um, all your captains or team coaches have the schedules to let you know where the your games are, but field one is over there, field two in the middle, and field three 
over that way, and your coaches or your managers know where you go first. Uh, for rules, it's basically just normal soccer rules uh, with a few exceptions. Uh, so there's no slide tackling. That's one uh, thing. If, uh, if the ball goes out, uh, instead of a regular throw-in, it's just an underhand roll back in. And offside. Uh, there's no offside. That's the other uh, third difference. Uh, so the fact that it's just regular soccer, uh, six players and a goalie. And uh, there's no no goal crease. I know in regular street soccer, usually there's a crease, but there's none, none here. Um, goalies can go as far out as they like. Yeah, you can shoot from anywhere, yeah. So, uh, referees, there's three referees. One is going to be me, one is going to be Peter Davies, the man in the green shirt right here, and Audrey Hamiel, who's uh, kind of a celebrity guest too, because he's the organizer of the uh, Vancouver International Soccer Festival. He's going to be another uh, referee. And last thing is what we're playing for today is um, right now it looks like just a pretty non little dog ball sitting around the table next to the Lord. But uh, I like everybody here, so uh, so Gregor and everybody uh, just sign the ball so that we'll have uh, that ball with everybody's signature on it uh, to represent who is all here for the tournament. That'll be the trophy at the end. So let's get on with it. Uh, so your coaches or your captains know where to go, so just uh, go and line up to that field. And here we go.